Well, good evening to you and uh, welcome on this most perfect evening for a game of football. Conditions are absolutely splendid and the folk of this town have come out in their droves for this match. Why wouldn't they? It is an ideal circumstance for what could be an ideal game. Everybody has been attracted to it. It has been the talk of the town and uh, the buses have been packed. Double-decker buses lining up outside. Coaches have carried thousands of away supporters here too and uh, all of it adds up to make a terrific, a crackling atmosphere the match I think will be quite a spectacle and this must be amongst the favoured arenas of supporters all over the world it really does have a very special feel to it we have already started here who do you, Jim, see making a difference here? Yeah, Nicholas Otamendi. He's a, a fine defender, both in the air and on the ground, and a, a real tough competitor who, who loves a physical duel. He knows how to pick out a pass too, and he'd be looking to get his team moving forward as soon as any opposition attack breaks down. He often likes to step into midfield. Yeah, I'm inclined to agree. Big chance! It's one! Oh, beautifully dispatched. There was no reaching that. Now that's what I call finishing, right in the corner. He knew instinctively who was where and didn't need to waste any time weighing things up. That's a cracking goal. Benfica ahead, one goal to the good. Hoists it forward. Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. Mario Kurtzer shoots! And this is... That's a pop! Played it short. Now the cross. Oh, well defended. That had to be done. It's being played forward. He's made sure that that won't get through. PSV are playing with a pleasing width here, especially that front line. Is it working for you? Um, it's not movement for the sake of it. Um, yes, it is working for me. There's a purpose to, to create space. Hardly anything between the sides, and it's 1-0. Good, sir. Beautifully done. Forward it goes. Driving on now. What can they conjure from here? And he's on a charge. He's still going. Where to next? Plays it in. And he's there to cut it out. And it's played forward. Now it's Sahavi. <laughs> there is the half time whistle. And here we are. Off they go for half time. The great food did indeed come in the first half. Only been that one goal, it is very, very tight. Well, you obviously have to give credit to the front men for the half time lead, but I think the midfield can really pat themselves on the back too. They work tirelessly for me. Benfica leading 1 0 at the break. And the game has already resumed here. 
well, one nil may be good enough, so they may err on the side of caution and, and get more players behind the ball instead of running beyond it. They could even try to, to spoil it from here, we'll see. to win it back he's got options out wide he gets past his man timely intervention tries to get it forward quickly good running with the ball can they build on it hoists it forward Your impression so far, Jim? Well, Peter, if they're attempting to see out the game with such a, a narrow advantage, there's room for trouble. Uh, I just think they're sending out the wrong... And the header! No, he didn't quite meet it right. Well, he did get himself into a good position. Something for him to cling to. Some good work on the right flank. Now, what's next? He has given a corner. Great leap! Mario Götze. Gets the better of his man. Shapes to shoot! And the lead stays intact, just. Well, the lead may be fragile, but the keeper was focused and strong. Up to meet it! Oh, that could cost them. It looked like he got a bit anxious there when the pressure was on. And they've been caught out here. That's a, it's the guilty party there. Seferovic puts his foot on the gas. And the whistle has gone for a reckless challenge there. And no surprise, that's a booking. Still just that single goal and we are nearly done. And it's played forward. Benfica can afford to settle on seeing this one out by running down the clock, I think. Going through. So Harvey. Confirmation that there will be two minutes stoppage time. Just a few more moments for them to hang on. And here's Sir Harvey. Taken goal. We thought it was over. It's all square once more. And that is about as cool as they come. He picked his spot expertly. Well, you know, sometimes it pays off not to... The 90 minutes are up, 30 more to come. Yeah, no daylight between these two sides, but I have to say, neither side really did enough to find the winner. They just cancelled each other out. So all square, we need a winner. And we will be back for extra time. And if you're just back, the action is back underway already. Benfica conceded an equaliser late on. Now they have to do it all again. Do they have what it takes? It's a great gallop down the right-hand side. And it's Seferovic. Seferovic! 
goal at his mercy and somehow he's missed it. Well, we could be headed for a scenario in which next goal is the winner. That chance could have been it too. Gets up, goes looking. Tries a shot! Oh, should have put that away. Otamendi tries to clear. Finds himself eased off the ball. Time reaches half time. Well, it may well be a case of who's got most to give now. Fitness levels look good, and it's not any less competitive. And so the last chance to find a winner. It has been a slugfest. Significant blows landed, but still no knockout. He's given it away. Zahavi. Trow calling for him to shoot. Swept in. Cleared without complication. Well, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Brings it forward. They seem to have lost their sense of direction. Uh, it should be higher up the pitch. Well, both sides might have to settle for a draw here although there's still a chance for one last fling oh that is asking for trouble chance to chance and that's that well a game that had everything except a winner really watchable and honors even any reflections on what you've seen, Jim? A rather flat performance for me when we expected something a lot stronger. I think they thought the win would just come to them.